All right, we're going to take a look at sorting. Now in this video, we're going to take a look at ascending sort, and in a follow-up video, we'll take a look at descending sort. So to do this, we'll of course use the sort package. So here we have three different functions. We have our ints function from the sort package. We have our float 64s function from the sort package, and we have our strings function from the sort package. So let's just go ahead and run those. All right, as you can see, we take our slice of int and we just pass it on in and it will sort it and it, it doesn't even return a value. It just takes, it takes our variable and it sorts it and saves it back to that same variable. As you can see, it sorted out 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 9, 6, 8, 9 12. Uh, same thing with our floats. You know, we just pass in our slice of float and it saves it back to b and we can just print, print b now with strings this is going to not just sort it alphabetically so as you can see we got apple grapes orange pineapple but it's actually sorting by utf8 so as you can see here an exclamation point comes before um look our word pair this is a capital p actually comes before lowercase letter. So it's just looking at the first letter of each one of these and seeing which one would come first. And then of course we, you know, we even have like our tilde which would come at the end. So um, if you want to take a further look at those, uh, just go to Wikipedia, um, search for UTF-8, and you'll see like yes, exclamation point does come before say your numbers which come before your capital letters, lowercase letters, you know, and then of course some more of your symbols. All right, now here we're gonna look at three functions that just check to see if something's sorted. So we, the, we have our one for regular ints, which is uh, sort ints are sorted. We have our sort, you know, dot floats are sorted, and we also have our strings are sorted. So let's just go ahead and, go ahead and run that. As you can see, we have our slice of int and variable d, and you can see these are sorted, so it returns true. And as you would expect, our our slice saved in e is not sorted, so it returns false. Same thing with our our floats. You know, when they're sorted, it returns true. When they are not, it returns false. And this is only checking for ascending sort. And of course, same thing with our strings. If it is sorted get our true and if they're not we'll get our false okay now here we have our search function so we have our search Ints, we have our search floats and we have our search strings one thing to be careful with this for this to work properly these have to be pre-sorted if these are not sorted already this will not work so let's just go ahead and run that any day now it'll it'll get there There we go. So sort search ints, our search ints function is going to go ahead and take our slice of int that we have right here, and we're saying, hey, we want to know what where the index is for the number or for the element four. So it searches through here, zero, one, two, and three, and it finds it, so it returns. A three it is at index three notice that we have two of these but it's just going to return the first one that it encounter you know, the index for the first one it encounters and if we look at our you know our search float 64s 
it's of course going to take a slice of float uh, float 64 and we're looking for 5.99 and it's just going to go ahead and look through there so 0 1 2 and there's our 2 and the same thing for our search strings now like I said this works for all of them when they're sorted and these have to be sorted in ascending order so um, this is just the the quick and easy stuff they have built in there uh, in, our, in a following video we'll go ahead and take a look where we can modify our searches to have however we we see fit so i hope that was helpful and i'll see you in the next one